Hey YouTube, welcome to TCT and the Crazy Troll Nation of YouTube. The crazy because I just am sometimes is just, just me. The troll because I consider myself a troll when I put on face paint, a cute troll, but they troll nonetheless. And so welcome to my channel. And I'm realizing that my under eye concealer is looking a little too bright. Um, I did a, a, a few different things today with applying my face, but this is just to let you know what's on my face. Yeah, this is not looking good. I just received like two days ago... <laughs> The Nick and Honey palette. I purchased it because it was on sale for half off. So it was like $24.50. And so I'm realizing... Excuse the traffic. I have the window open back here. I realized a couple years ago that, that I need to not purchase Urban Decay palettes when they first come out. Because eventually they go on sale for half off. And I think I purchased it from... I don't know if it was on Sephora, from Sephora or Ulta, but for $24 and like 50 cents, and I'm just like, I'm going to get it. So from now on, I will not purchase any Urban Decay palettes until they go on sale. And if they never do, then I just will never have it. But they always do go on sale because eventually they need to get rid of stock. So I used it today. I didn't have any problems with any of the shadows except the, the, the glitter ones, of course. Um, I don't have anything to cover up the mirror. The glitter, I'll just hold it upside down. Like these two here I used, and even this one. Yeah, I, this one was not as noticeable. I did my base face first, and so this one was not as noticeable. But I first used Honey, and when I patted it on this eye, it was just like all here. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. So I was more careful and worked slower with putting Honey over here, and it was less fallout. And it was challenging to clean up because I was already sweating and so I couldn't just wipe it away and so that was not good and so I'm lazy when it comes to makeup I just want to dip my brush in it put it on and it work I don't want to have to be extra careful I don't want to have to wet my brush I don't want to have to use my fingers and get my fingers dirty so I'm lazy I just want to use a brush and have it work and so that's my thing with um, a lot of glittery type shades and also because I wear contact lenses if I get one speck in my eye it is no good at all and then I end up having to either put in eye drops to rinse my eye which causes my eyes to tear so then that ruins my eye makeup too it's just a mess and so I tend to stay away from glittery shadows but I wanted to try these and so I will just have to be careful with these and also this is a, um, a shimmer slash glittery shade too so I have to just be extra careful with it and also do my foundation and all of that afterwards. So what I used was <laughs> I put Keeper in the crease and above the crease. And I put this shade here and I'll list the, the shades below and I'll list everything else on my face below. And then I put this directly in the crease. I put this on the inner third of my lid, this on the center of my lid and this in my outer corner and then I went back in with this one um, just above the crease line to blend all of that in and I used this shade here as a brow bone highlight which was way too bright and so then I went back with this color and lightly dusted that over it to tone that down a little bit and underneath my lower lash line I have this shade um, and then I believe I put this one just um, on the inner corner of the lower lash line. And so those are all the shadows that I used. How many did I use? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I used eight of the 15 shades. Is it really 15? <laughs> two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 12. <laughs> this is the crazy, I can't even count. So I used eight of the 12 shades in this palette today and they do perform well minus my issue with some of the shimmer slash glittery shades um wayne goss lip pencil underneath of a fenty gloss bomb and i really like how that looks fenty brow fenty fly liner tarte mascara Lorac, no um sephora glide liner on my inner rims Fenty Matchstick and Bordeaux Brat as blush. Um, so Sephora Concealer for underneath my eyes. And NARS Concealer for redness and for blemishes. I'm trying to think of what else. 
Cover Effects Foundation, the Power Play, Lancome, um, Long Time No Shine Setting Powder, and also two of the Fenty Powders, the Honey, the Center of My Face, and the Nutmeg here, and right here, and under here. So that is everything, and I will list it all below. Excuse my hair. I need a haircut so bad. Like, this is just, it's not laying down when I brush it anymore. So I'm holding off, though, because I'm not ready to really get back out into society. And I haven't even, I've been putting off also even just going to the grocery store. Not that I really need to, but I want snacks. I've been craving chocolate. I've been craving, this is, you know, about that time. So, <laughs> yeah, I've been craving snacks and the only healthy snacks I have is fruit and almonds. So I've been eating almonds and fruit for snacks, which is not a bad thing. So thank you guys for watching. Um, if you have the honey palette, let me know how you're enjoying it. If you want to, you can link your videos below on looks that you have did. And if you didn't get it, you know, let me know why not. It is a really pretty palette. My concern is that most of the looks will end up looking the same because some of the colors look the same. For me, this shade and this shade, my fingers, this shade and this shade <laughs> look the same on me. These two look the same on me. And there's not much variation even between these two on my skin tone. And so that's one of the, my issues with um, purchasing palettes is either there's some shades that I won't use at all because they just won't show up or they end up looking the same on my complexion. So, but for half off for 2450 versus 49 yeah, I'll still get it because then I don't feel like I'm wasting as if I would have spent 50 bucks for it and only used half the palette or all the looks end up seeming the same. So thank you for watching. I feel like I'm babbling. So you guys will see me in the next video. Bye.